Let's take a closer look at what happened during the first two stages of the Dakar Rally 2025. Competitors asked for more demanding stages and they got them. The 48 hour chrono stage already happened during days 2 and 3 of the rally. That meant that competitors drive as far as possible on day 1 and by 5 pm local time they have to drive to the nearest camp and spend the night there. That means there are no mechanics, no beds, no toilets. They have to do everything themselves. And so we saw banged up vehicles being worked on by drivers and co-drivers in the night. The crews put up their tents and spent a night with their competitors in the desert. In preparation of this 48 hour stage, top drivers tried not to be too far forward in stage 1. Because if you win stage 1, you would have to start the marathon stage and you would lose lots of time trying to find your way, while others could just follow your tracks. Additionally, the bikes, which start before the cars, were driving a different route, so cars couldn't follow the bike's tracks. Result of that was that top drivers intentionally slowed down on stage 1, some even stopped in the desert to finish a bit further back. Carlos Sainz had a tire problem and thought he lost enough time because of that, but still finished 8th, so he didn't have many tracks to follow at the beginning of stage 2. And unfortunately, like 2 years ago, he had a problem with a dune again. And rolled the car. His teammate Godfrey came to help and he could continue but with a very damaged car. His time wasn't too bad though and he could even finish the marathon stage without the windscreen, but with glasses and by using his hand as a sun visor. When he got back to his team they discovered a slight but severe damage to his roll cage, which meant he cannot continue the rally, although it would be easy to fix, but he's not allowed to. He left lots of bodywork in the desert, which gave us a good look at the new Ford design. And also his teammate and Dakar legend Nani Roma crashed on stage 2 and had to retire as the mechanics couldn't fix his car anymore. Loeb had broken cooling fans and waited for Cristina Gutierrez because her co-driver Pablo Moreno is a mechanic who could fix Loeb's car. Next day Gutierrez had a steering issue and did not finish the stage. She hence got a penalty of 18 hours and 15 minutes. She can continue the Dakar but is out of contention for the win and acts as a support vehicle for the two other Dacias of Loeb and Alatia. In my latest mini video, one significant feature of the car was the large and deep front air intake. At the beginning of the Dakar, they had problems with dirt and leaves getting stuck here and blocking cooling, so the crews had to stop and clean the intake. So another lessons learned for us motorsport engineers. We could then see their car without bodywork as well and could see the engine's air intake which we couldn't see so far. Century has a supplier problem again. Last year it was the supplier for suspension links who used the wrong heat treatment. This year it's the supplier for their springs which are breaking all around. The VW Amarok showed strong performance but lost 6 hours in the desert due to an electronical problem at the Nissan GTR engine. But they could get going again and catch up now. And a few other stories. Dakar legend Jean-Pierre Strugo, who participated since the 1980s and got number 278 because he is 78 years old, did not start the rally because he didn't feel fit enough. Lacombe is driving his MD buggy instead. Vanagas did not have an ideal start to the rally because he lost his luggage on the way and luckily he spread his gear to multiple bags. Bajuska suffered from a mechanical issue on his first Dakar in the top class but showed strong performance and could even win the chrono stage. And the two bike legends Price and Sunderland in their Toyota are running at the front in their first year in a car. As expected, the two locals Araji and Alatia were doing well in the dunes and unfortunately the two teammates De Villier and Variava crashed head on while struggling with navigation and dust, which left both cars stranded. So there is a lot going on and upcoming sandstorms will not make it easier for competitors. So how do you like the Dakar Rally 2025 so far? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.